power, ladies and gentlemen. Cast it, Jackie Long. You guys might remember Jackie Long from ATL. He was in Idle Wild. He's also done some um, production where he produced TV shows. The brother holding that Coke bottle is the one that is going to be the new cast member of Power Book 2 Ghost. But before we talk about who we think he's going to be, did you guys know that he had beef with 50 Cent not too long ago? Of course, we tried to call it out and say it was a fake beef, but a lot of people thought it was a real beef. Let's take hmm. a look at what the beef was all about, and then I'll finish my point about why I thought it was a fake beef the whole entire time. Take a look. So I know everybody been on this Instagram and all the social media stuff y'all been seeing, saying 50 saying I'm broke, I owe him money. And I never said that, stuff. Jack. First of all, let me get y'all to the real story with all that bullshit he talking about. Years ago, literally years ago, about four or five years ago, maybe six. It wasn't that ago, long, Jack. We in the Palms Casino gambling. All right, 51 something. He leaves, yep. he come back, he give me a bag, say, Jackie, hold this. I don't even think I even know if the motherfucker won. He no, you know I bag. won, Jack. I looked at his 50 bag. So I'm like, I ain't gonna look at the nigga bag. It's his bag. He said, hold it. I hold the bag. We get back to the hotel. He tripping, talking about 3000 is missing. Where the money, Jack? $3,000 is missing. And you doing all this shit, five? <laughs> Can't say nothing. Oh, if they do, we move it. Okay. Only then. Just relax, Amanda. What did you nervous? Hold up, Amanda got some Gucci shit on. Let's see if I'm here. What's the Gucci shit you got on, Amanda? Let's see. Yeah. Spit on it. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, good. Oh, we got action. Oh, my goodness. He's like, oh, we got action. Oh. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, everybody knows 50, 50 Cent. <laughs> it's not funny. I shouldn't laugh, but he's been pegged as being very petty. Um, he's had friendships come and go. He had a fallout with Money Mayweather, which that was real. That was a legitimate fallout between him and Money Mayweather. And the so-called beef between him and Jackie Long, I felt like it was just a stunt because 50 Cent is good at doing that, acting like he has beef with someone to promote, maybe get some publicity. And this casting just solidifies what I thought about that situation. Now, Jackie Long is a talented actor. I think he can pull this off. But the question I pose to everybody watching and Larry, what is his role going to be? And power book two. Man, I, I have no idea. You know, you want me to throw out some suggestions and you pick which one you think could be it. So, all right. Okay. They could sprinkle him into this show and somehow or another have him connected to Effie and he'd be somehow or another connected to her connect or he is the connect or something to that effect. That's one theory. Mm. Okay. Here's another one. Everybody loves this character, which I don't know how this character got to be such a pop culture phenomenon among power. Could he be related to Breeze? That's people won't let Breeze die. Could he have some connection to Breeze? Next guess is could they introduce him as another person to help teach Tariq the game? Larry, I gave you some theories. You give me some answers. Man, I think he's going to turn up as Drew's ex-boyfriend. I think as soon as Drew gets what? a hooks up with that basketball player what? and he's looking like he's going to get into a new relationship, dude's going to pop up as Drew's ex and he's going to cause all kinds of drama. That's what I think it's going to be. Lord. See, see. see. That's what I think they're going with. It. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't even an option on the table. <laughs> I said an Effie connect, a connection to Breeze, or a connection to Tariq. And my man done went, when I say left field, I mean he went way I'm left field. Saying, that's where I think they're going with it. <laughs> dude, dude hit a, a left field bunt, if you feel me. 
No, man. I'm just saying. And the reason why I say that is because if their beef was real, you know, you know, 50's petty. 50 will be like, oh, yeah, you can come on the show. We'll cast you. You're going to play oh a game, nigga. That's what you're going to do. Oh, oh you know, because 50's petty like that. So, so you think, man, but I mean, even let's just say 50 is petty like that. Jackie we Long not, would, if he is petty like that, we know this. But Jackie Long would still have to sign on to do it. And it don't I'm look like he's looking at that photo right there. If they ever decide to do a Rocky and biopic, I think no. he's the cast. I think they had to cast Yo, him. That's perfect. That he would be you know? perfect for Rock Kim. I feel you on that. You know? Um, <laughs> I, I definitely feel you on the Rock Kim thing. I mean, look, at this point, who the hell knows what he's gonna play? But what we yeah, do know, know is he can act. He's also producing. And whatever role he plays, he's going to do it to his full potential. I think the missing you know, piece. You know what it could be? It could be after the way Kane stomped that dude down and beat that beat that dude's ass. He could. That dude, he could come back as a leader. I forgot the name of that click that that, um, that GTG, dude baby. GTG. GTG, right. So he could come back as like, is like an OG from GTG who gets out of jail or something, or maybe he comes in from out of town or wherever, or maybe he's, so whatever. Maybe he's just a, a GTG OG comes back after the after young dude got his his you know got his brakes beat off as, as as Monet said, talking about beat the brakes off that dude. So I mean, he may come back and and and, and lead that click into getting you know and either getting back right with him or lead that click into going to war with him. Yeah, I want you guys to stand by because I do have another theory that's going to bounce to GTG involving Lorenzo Tejada and Effie, and I'll get to that in a minute. But let me read what some of the facts. Man, y'all be bugging, man. Y'all do not hold back. Y'all about <laughs> like 50 cent in these comments section. Where was this crazy one that I just Ooh, saw? Joe has a good one. said he might be Zeke's dad. That's, Here we I go. Like this, this is what I was going to say. One says he's going to either be Zeke's father or big brother. He's going to show up after Zeke gets killed in the crossfire. I can agree with that because right now everybody thinks Zeke is going to get the ax. He's kicking the bucket. He's going to 86 yeah. it. Um, I, I don't see how we don't get that kind of – there's going to be some collateral damage, and yeah. it's probably going to come from retaliation from the GTG folks. But it's going to also be a matter of how does Tariq get caught up in this crossfire? What you think? Man, I mean, it, on some level, it doesn't really matter how he gets caught up in it because Tariq is Tariq is slick. He, he's like he's like Bill Clinton. He's like Slick Willie. You can't touch him. Like even if you do touch him, you can't keep a grip on him. I mean, if you shoot him, bullets are gonna slide right by him. He's gonna be in the Matrix, just up there like Keanu in the Matrix. Just, I mean, nothing's gonna touch Tariq. So. I mean, on some some level, it really doesn't even matter how Tariq is, is involved with it because it's not going to touch him. That's, but, true. That's definitely true. But it would be interesting to see how he comes in. I mean, it could I could I could very well see him coming in as as an OG member of GTG. He could come in, as someone said, as, as Zeke's dad. I could see that. That would be a really interesting play because, you know, obviously because is, Zeke is, is Monet's cousin, then if he comes in as his dad, there's there's that familiar connection. I don't know if it's if if Monet if he would be Monet's brother, you know, mm -hmm. or if or if he's just the brother-in-law or something like that. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how all that all that plays out. But I, feel I think it could be. I think it could be fun. However, it goes down. But I I I think it's I think. I think you said it. It probably will come in at the end of the at like the last episode. Maybe Zeke gets blasted and he shows up on the scene after Zeke gets blasted, wanting to know what's up and wanting revenge and all that. So you mm -hmm. know, and then and then you could catapult him to next season. Be real, simple. right? Real simple, right? All right, introduction and move on. Right.